as you can see, we have a very efficient operation. Full production has already been achieved. Berlin demands an immediate estimate of the titanium you can produce. Richtig, yeah. The mine is critically important to the war effort. I can promise a daily output of five to seven metric tons. Alex, there are so many. We have no choice. Stay here. No matter what happens, don't show yourself. Don't get killed, Alex. I'm... Gentlemen, please. It's a great day for all of us. We suffered heavy losses on the Eastern Front, and now it's why this mine is terribly important to us. Goodbye, gentlemen. you are. Have come on down. Sergeant! Sergeant! Have your man round up five civilians for reprisals. Five? That's nothing. I have to maintain order. And I have a mind to run. I can't do that with corpses. What do you mean, no partisans, General? We're going to need the support, sir. Well, let's see what they say about that. Uh, all contact with the Yugoslav partisans in that sector ceased two months ago. That was right after the last raid. And we have to assume that they're either all dead or disbanded. We also have some reports of, uh, what do they call it, scattered resistance, but nothing that really means very much. Well, then how are we going to blow this mine, sir? Now, this is von Reumann. He is the new commandant. He's a mole. He's one of our most important agents. He comes from an old German family that hates Hitler. He'll pull as many of his troops out of the way as possible without compromising his position. Well, I guess the partisans already did their job. By killing the old commandant and moving our boy upstairs, huh? You leave for Yugoslavia in 48 hours. By the way, how is Sergeant Butts doing? Doctors tell me his leg will heal, but his jumping days are over. I'll miss it. Oh. oh, and thank you. No one, no one but yourself, is to know about Van Royen. Well, then I sure hope he stays out of our way, General. Because if I can't tell my maniacs he's a good Nazi, he's a dead one. You make sure that he isn't. Keeping him alive and in place is just as important as blowing that mine. Yes, sir. Hey, Farrell. Why don't you take up a new hobby? Huh? Like 
sign language. Hey, you wouldn't know good music if a bitch in the ear. Sergeant Butts, he appreciated my music. He used to say all the time, he'd never heard anything like it before. <laughs> hey, how is the Sarge? He sounded more like his own self all the time. I told you to get stuck, huh? Lebec. Frenchy. Come on. Lebec. Lebec, pick a card, put it back, shuffle and cut. Your move. <clears throat> I saw a guy run the strip one time. It was unbelievable. Yeah, I believe it. Okay. And that is your card, right? Unbelievable. <laughs> Thank you. Got it, huh? Not even close. Huh? Oh, that's your card, right? Nope. I mean, nope. Look, which one of these is your card? Hey. Checkmate. <laughs> Attention! Identities. Gentlemen, we have another mission. Listen up. I, I... You were supposed to deliver two platoons of riflemen this morning. I just came to tell you I have no intention of leaving headquarters unprotected. Ha ha. You know what my man called me? The Falcon. Because I hunt my prey without mercy. I'm calling for the reprisals you're so loath to all. Not just five minutes. I'm appropriating two platoons of rifle. You have no right to take any of my men. The Gestapo has every right to do whatever it deems necessary. And if you have any objections, be free to call him Lambley. I'm sure he would be glad to discuss it with you. All right, come on, gather around. You know the routine, let's bury these shoots. There's a fishing shack somewhere up here to the left. I'm gonna go up there and rest a couple of hours until daylight. Hey, we got company. Look, I don't know who these guys are. I think they're shooting at the Germans. Free little fishing trip, Lieutenant. All right, get ready to move out. On your toes. Let's go! Spread out. Check everybody. Okay, you got it. He's not getting it. Hey, come on. Get him, come on. Oh, 
Oh, my God, they're kids. This is just like the Wizard of Oz. We've been rescued by Munchkin. Yeah. I bet that'd be a lot of fun at Halloween. When they say trick or treat, they mean business. We're partisans. Yeah? Who's your leader? Mickey, Donald, or Pluto? You should knock it off. <laughs> That's a good one, Roy. You said knock it off. How old are you, son? I'm not your son. My code name is Romulus. I'm the commander of these partisan fighters, and now you will answer my question. Look, I don't have time to play games with you, kid. We gotta get out of here now. You're operating in my sector, and now you will answer my question. Sorry, my mistake. My code name's Flash Gordon. I'm the commander of this unit. You're with the American Army? That's right. What's your rank? Lieutenant. Good enough? You're very old to be lieutenant. You must be very stupid. <laughs> yeah, well, I move my lips when I read. It's been a real impediment to my career. Now, can we get out of here before the Germans come back? Very well. We will take you back to our camp. We can use you. We are planning a raid. We can make strategy together. That's great, kid. We'll put on a show with Mickey uh, Rooney and Judy Garland while we're at it. You must be making jokes with me, Flash Gordon. Oh, Flash Gordon never makes jokes, kid. Hey, let's hide these bodies. I don't really trace of us around here. What about your family, your parents? In a man's grave outside of what used to be our village. The Germans made them dig their own graves before they shot them. Remember your stare? How old are you, kid? Fifty. Almost. It's all I have left from... From your childhood? From before. How'd you know where our LZ was? What is LZ? Our landing zone. LZ. I must remember that. We didn't know where is your LZ. Oh, you were just hanging around the neighborhood with a bunch of machine guns, is that it? We wanted to ambush the German patrol, and then we saw the parachutes and heard the gunshot. So we moved to protect our flunk. Our flunk? The side, the, your side. Oh, our flank? Flank. I must remember that. Where'd you get your weapons? My brother was a partisan. When they were all killed, I know where the weapons were. Ever ambushed a German patrol before? Tonight was our first combat for really. Well, it showed. For really? Yes. Yeah. But we were not the ones the Germans had pinned down, Flash Gordon. All right, now that we're old comrades in arms, why don't you tell me what your real name is? Marco. Danko. You're welcome. That'll be a long war. <laughs> All right. Yeah, make it easy. Got yeah, a good shot, sir. Here it comes. Nice and easy. Sit down. Sit down. Carl, what do you say, buddy? You want to give it a try? It won't bite. Guess he's known as the strong silent type, huh? Everybody up! I got a surprise! Whoa! Break time! Chocolate! 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 Everybody get some. Everyone get some. Where's my... Carl! 
chocolate. Come on. <laughs> really? Carl, you must not go for food. Carl doesn't say much, does he? Carl doesn't speak very much. But since he saw the Germans kill his family. Yuri is having trouble with this weapon. He doesn't know how to use it. Why should he? He's only 14. Of course, he's a fighter now, a soldier. Like Marco. When this thing is over, I'm gonna get you out of here with us. They don't take orders from you. They take orders from me. We'll stay and we'll fight. All right. You know what G2 is? This is military? Yeah, it's military. It's very military. G2 is intelligence. I want you and your fighters to be my G2 unit. The only problem is, I'm not sure if you and your guys are man enough to handle it. We can't handle it. You can carry out orders, follow them out, no matter what happens? We can't do it if we decide to do it. You're American Army. You're partisans. Lieutenant. Where's Major von Reumann? I don't know him, Lieutenant Berger. He said he was going for a drive. For a drive? Yes. He says he likes to drive through the woods. It clears his mind. Indeed. And which road did he take to clear his mind? kind of to step outside, Major, if you please. We've already broken your code, so there's really no need to send anything. Is there? So Danvers was right about you. You are a traitor. I caught him while he was standing on this. The rest of the transmitters in a shed, not far from here. We intercepted a message not more than half an hour ago. Have you deciphered it? Yeah. Van Reumann is on to us. Falken says, proceed with attack on garrison and be ready to extract us the strike force. Gentlemen, some address. Yeah. yeah. I knew it was you. What are you talking about? Walker caught you. And you killed him. I'm going to supervise your interrogation personally. How about arrest him? I know if I believe. What are you doing? Are you mad? We are the only man I know whose nickname is the Falcon. You idiot! He's the spy, not me. Damn rush! I would never have believed it. Good work, Lieutenant. 
We'll see to it that Major Damrosch will be executed at dawn. My brother tried to blow up that mine. I watched them die. I'm sorry, kid. That mine is vital to the Germans. That's why we got to shut it down. Your brother was a hero trying to destroy it. He was murdered by Major von Reumann. That nasty pig. They've got enough guns down there. Yeah, but there's a blind spot. Take a look. Up and to the right. A track of some kind. There's the woodcutter's trail. Nobody uses it anymore. No sentries. You know what? We could infiltrate it. Well, back in Leeds, a couple of other guys come down that trail. Times like this, I wish I was still in prison. I'm gonna need a closer look. You are still shocking where the trail comes out. All right. There is something I want to show you. Okay, you guys go with them. And I'll meet you back at the camp. It was the Magister's house before they took him away. Now von Reumann lives there. So what? I mean, what's the point of some sightseeing tour? The point is, I want to kill him. That's my mission. You help me with mine, and I will help you with yours. Forget it. What are you talking about? I said forget it. You're my G2 unit for blowing up the mine. You help me plan it. We execute it while you and your friends wait. When it's over, you come out with us. Because I'm not old enough to understand. I saw him. I saw my brother murdered in front of me. I saw. Sorry. Soldiers don't cry. Shit, I do kill. Well, half the reason you have for it. Let's get back to camp. Two full of Jerry's coming right at us. Come on, start! Get the keys inside! I knew you Americans were arrogant. But you must be insane. I'm insane. There's a fortune worth of mushrooms up there. Now then, where are the others? You'd love to know, wouldn't you? Yeah. I would. Unless you tell me right now, I'll use you for bayonet practice. Yeah? 
Well, to hell with them. All right. They left me behind anyway. They never meant that much to me. I'll tell you. I'll take you right to them. I know you will. And just in case we are walking into an ambush, you'll be right in front. I found this on one of the Germans. One of our candy bars. But like that, you seem unwilling or unable to make an evaluation from existing intelligence. Of course, if I were confident, you could do that. It would not be necessary for me to wire for your replacement. You could prove yourself quite capable of filling a captain's shoes. Sir, based on the intercepted message, there's reason to believe that the attack is planned against the garrison. The garrison and not the mines. That seems bizarre, don't you think? Not if they intended to neutralize the garrison first and then attack the mine. Ah. Yes, yes. I see what you mean. Mm -hmm. That's your official estimation, is it? Well, yes, sir. I'll issue orders immediately to concentrate all our troop strength around the garrison and not the mine. Yes, sir. And if you're going to get a visit, let's make sure there's a proper reception. Thank you, Lieutenant. Or shall I say, Captain Hauptmann? Thank you. So, pick a card, any card, and put it back. Well, so, does America look like it does in the movies? Yeah, sure. You like the movies? Yeah. Because I was in the movies. Almost. I was almost a star. You're... You know the Tarzan film? I almost got the part. Yeah, but the uh, monkey got the part instead, didn't it? <laughs> <laughs> you know, these kids would love America. Wouldn't it be great if we could take them home with us? And that is your card, right? Oh. Lieutenant, half my explosives are missing. And so is Marco. You got enough to blow the mine? Where is he? Nathan's here. 
Look, this is no time to cover for your friend. Damn it! Lieutenant? Well, we've got our mission. Apparently, Marco has his. Beck, you're in command. What? You know the plan. I'll catch up with you when I can. Get off with the kid. Well, maybe he's got some kind of special order or something. Leads? Uh, or maybe it's uh, personal. Personal. Great. No, he killed my father and my brother. Now he's going to die. Damn it! Get it off my way, or I swear it, I'll kill you. I don't care what happens with me, but for Norman's going to die. Listen, Marco. Then Ryman's one of us. He's a spy. He can be. He gave the order. He had to. Otherwise, he'd have been found out. I don't understand. I don't know who to hate. I haven't seen you before. So, now you've seen me. Hey, where do you think you're going? Where do you think he's going? <laughs> he's been stuck back there four hours. Everyone, 
everyone's in a hurry. Everyone's a general. Down, buddy. are attacking the mine, not the garrison. I've ordered two personnel carriers to the mine. It's all we can spare. It's just a diversion. It has to be. Your initiative is quite exemplary, Hauptmann. I'm sure you're right. Thank you, sir. Quite exemplary.
just came in, sir. Mission accomplished. Objective destroyed. Suggest you have milk and cookies waiting when we arrive. We'll explain later. Milk and cookies? For the dirty dozen? Tomorrow, why watch the same old network reruns when you can experience 1988's classic night of television? Make this summer your time to discover the sensation of Fox Sunday night.
Thank <laughs> you. 